Welcome! In front of me I have Fitbit Versa Lite and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on the watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the side button. Keep holding the button until you see the Fitbit logo on the screen. And after the watch turns on, you will probably see the message on the screen that says you need to download and install the Fitbit application on the phone you want to pair your watch with. So let's go to our iPhone. Make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store. In the App Store, uh, tap on the search icon, then type tap on search bar and type in uh, Fitbit. And tap on search. And you should find this application on the list, Fitbit Health and Fitness. Tap on it and tap on the get button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, if you see the pop-up about the Bluetooth permission, tap on the OK to confirm it. And now we need to log in into a Fitbit or Google account. You can tap on sign in with Google if you want to use the Google account, or you can tap on sign with Fitbit if you want to use the Fitbit account. I'm gonna use the Fitbit account. So I'm gonna enter the email address and password. Then I'm gonna tap on sign in. And after you log in, you may see the pop-up about the notification permission. This is useful if you want to receive the notification or rather notifications from your iPhone on your watch. If you want to, tap on allow to allow this permission because it's required for this feature to work. If you don't care and you don't want to receive the notifications on your watch, you can tap on don't allow and it's gonna be disabled. I'm gonna tap on allow. Here you can uh, basically move your Fitbit account to Google account and uh, get some more uh, features from Google. If you want to do it, you can tap on get started to continue and uh, basically move your account to Google. I'm just gonna tap on no thanks for now and tap on got it. Then continue, continue, uh, choose what you want to focus on with the app. For example, uh, let's select, I uh, know, better sleep and then tap on save. Okay, and once you see today page in the app, tap on the icon in the top left corner to open the uh, connected to Fitbit, then tap on add device, scroll through the list, find the Fitbit Versa Lite, of course. Should be somewhere here, then tap on it, tap on set up, scroll down, tap on agree. Next, the app will start looking for the nearby devices and it should detect our watch. As you can see, it detected it. Now we need to enter the code from the watch. Tap on pair. Allow or deny the permission for the notifications. And as you can see, now we need to update our watch. For some reason, this is required. You can skip it. And sometimes it takes quite a lot of time. Uh, so I recommend to plug your watch to the charger and basically tap on the update now and it might take even up to 20 or 30 minutes. So I'm gonna tap on update now and we're gonna see how fast it goes. Probably it will go very slowly. So I won't record the whole thing, but after the watch is done updating, it's basically gonna be paired with your uh, phone. After that, you will be able to uh, open the device page for your uh, watch which means that the devices are paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the uh, iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.